Chris here from Video Maker. In lieu of having videos from the show floor at NAB, we met with our, the brands via video conferencing and we taped those presentations so that you could know about the newest equipment and newest gear coming out right now. So that's what's in this video and all of the other videos we shot are in a playlist. You'll be able to find them here in this card or in the description. Without further ado, let's get started. Hello, my name is Francis Crossman. I'm a senior product manager on Premiere Pro at Adobe, and I'm excited to take you through some of the announcements that we have coming to our release at Max. So let me jump in and show you some coolness. Here I am in Premiere Pro, and the first feature I want to show off is called Simplify Sequence. And it does pretty much what the name would imply. It takes a messy sequence and helps you simplify it down to a much more manageable version. So here you can see I've got clips strewn across the place, all across many different tracks. I've got some disabled clips. I've even got some video tracks with nothing in them at all. And the same thing is going on down in my audio with muted tracks and disabled clips. And also you can see I've got lots of sequence markers all across the timeline. And you know it's OK. It's all just part of the creative process. But at a certain point, you want to get some sanity back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to Sequence and choose Simplify Sequence. And what this is going to do is it's going to create a duplicate of my sequence, and it's going to remove certain things that I want. So for example, I'm going to close vertical gaps. This is really the most powerful feature of all. This is going to sort of play Tetris with your clips and reduce them down to uh, the lowest number of tracks possible. I'm also going to remove various things from both video and audio tracks. And those are going to be empty tracks, disabled or muted tracks, disabled clips. And you can see I've got all these other options of things I could remove uh, if I wanted to, depending on what I need to do. I'm also going to get rid of these green sequence markers because those were just notes and I don't need them anymore. So I hit simplify. And now I've got a much more manageable sequence. And what's really important to understand is that this simplified sequence is going to look and sound completely identical to this messy one. But now I'm ready to do some color work or some audio work, or maybe if I need to hand this off to a collaborator or some, some other editor, this is just going to be a lot easier for me to deal with. And this is shipping in the version at max. The next feature I want to show off, which is actually coming to beta, is called Remix. And Remix uses Adobe Sensei to automatically recompose a piece of music to a different duration. And so let me show you how this works. So I've got this sequence, uh, you know, short little sequence, and I want to add some music to it. So I went to Adobe Stock and got some stock music. And as you can see, this is far too long. So of course, I could just trim it down and add, you know, add, add a crossfade on the end. But the problem with that is that you know it's going to cut off that natural resolution of the music. And depending on where I actually faded it out, it could end up sort of sounding incomplete and not very nice. So I'm going to undo this. And let me show you how Sensei can come to the rescue and help solve this problem. So I'm going to open up the Essential Sound panel. I'm going to tag this as Music. And I'm going to enable the Duration option. By default, Remix is checked. And you can see this progress bar growing across here. Happens very quickly. But what just happened there was Sensei analyzed the audio it now understands what's going on musically in this file in terms of the rhythm and the melody and uh, you know what's going on in, in, in the instrumentation and so forth. So now I can just type in a new duration. And this is automatically going to be shortened down to that new duration. You can see these little squiggle marks here. This is where Adobe Sensei has gone in and made those edits. And so I'm going to play across you know, these four edits. And I, I challenge you to hear the edit. It's actually, I don't expect you to be able to hear the edit because it's really smooth. So 
So this is really exciting. This means that you're going to be able to get your music to be exactly the duration you need. And from your viewer's point of view, it sounds like that music always was the exact perfect duration. So in addition, uh, we also have a remix tool, uh, which is handy because now you can just drag music to a different duration and uh, simply with a tool. And this is going to make it really easy to get your music into uh, the duration that you want. And this is in beta. It's available today. So you can download Premiere Pro Beta and try that out. The next one I want to show off is a color tool. And this is called Autotone. So I'm going to open up the Lumetri color panel. And what Autotone does is it uses Adobe Sensei to analyze what your image looks like and then automatically adjust the colors using the basic correction settings in the Lumetri panel in order to make it stand out and pop and look more vibrant. And so you can see here that the parameters have been adjusted, and these remain editable. So if I want to take it in a slightly different direction, uh, you can totally do that. Like, for example, Let's say after I adjust this shot, it just looks a little bit too saturated for my taste. I can dial this back just a little bit. It didn't take much to dial it back. And now, you know, for me, this looks the way I want it. And so you can see that those settings are really easy to adjust. And it works on lots of different lighting situations in the footage. And because it's based on machine learning, it's going to automatically be able to adjust to different types of footage. And it just does a, a really nice job right out of the gate on all sorts of different type of footage. So that's Auto uh, Tone, another Sensei feature. And this is coming into Premiere Pro Beta. It is available today. All right, so here's the end page. You now have two choices. You can either have the video that YouTube has chosen for you or the video that we have chosen for you. Hopefully either one of them is good, but uh, you never know. They could change your life or not. Thanks for watching. Bye.